Hey everybody, it's Cam, and today we're getting a huge update for Back for Blood, completely free, and it's going to change a lot of things, but it's looking really good. So in this video, I'm just going to go through it, kind of read it, because I know none of you really want to read through this, so I'm just going to point out the big changes they're making, and I'm going to try and do it as fast as possible. So the biggest thing they're doing with this update is they're making it so you get your full deck on all difficulties as soon as you start the game. This is awesome because having a full deck just makes playing the game so much more fun and it puts more emphasis on economy so you can buy cards as you go through the levels. They do say that in the future they are considering adding multiple options for your deck styles so you can play it how it used to be where you get to pick cards as you go through and they're talking about making it so it's completely random decks as well so that's really cool. Another big thing a lot of you are going to be excited about is they've added player kicking. So with this kick feature you can't freely just kick whoever you want but it's says you're allowed to kick someone if they're idle for too long or if they're dealing too much friendly fire. So I guess it's better than nothing. With this update they're adding new banner sprays, emblems, banners, but the bigger thing is they're adding 12 new burn cards. Looking at the burn cards they look very strong. For burn cards they have also changed it so that some of them actually cost skull totems to unlock. So skull totems are going to be very important to collect. With this update they are also making it so warp chests give different corruption cards not just trauma damage. So you're going to really have to think about whether you want to open these up and risk it for whatever the downside is going to be. They're also adding legendary accessories such as a med kit that will remove all of your trauma and restore all of your health. They're making it so a toolkit can now unlock a free heal from a first aid cabinet. That's awesome. Toolkits are going to be even more important now. I think this is kind of a buff to Carly in a way. They've also changed Hang and Holly. So looking at Hang, it looks like they've buffed him. So the more damage you take, the higher the chances that you're going to drop an item. As Hang, you're going to want to take a beating. For Holly, they've made it so she doesn't get stamina back when she kills things. She does receive one health, so Holly could actually be used for things other than just a melee character. This one's kind of small, but also at the same time, huge. They've made it so there is actually callouts for the new Ridden. Onto the card changes, Adrenaline Fueled has overall gotten a buff. You will get 5 stamina on kill while still getting the old benefits. Ammo for all is now 2.5% increased to damage for the team instead of 1. The card Batter Up was now renamed to Soften Up. It no longer gives health or melee damage. When you hit something, it will reduce its damage by 3% up to 15%. The speed and damage increase was reduced to 5% instead of 10, and you can no longer hit multiple ridden with a single swing. Battle Lust received a change. It will now heal 0.1 trauma per kill, which is pretty interesting, but you will now only receive 1 health instead of 2 per kill. For Berserker, the bonus sprint speed was removed, which isn't that big of a deal. Stacks will decay based on when they were gained, and the duration of the buff has been reduced to 3 seconds instead of 4. For Brazen, the negative 5% damage resistance was removed, which is awesome, but the stamina efficiency was reduced to 15%, and the melee attack speed was lowered to 20% from 30%. Breakout has received a buff, so you can break out in 2 seconds instead of 3. I don't know if this is good enough to still take this card, but it's a change in the right direction. Combat Knife, the attack speed was increased to 0.75 from 0.5. Uh, I feel like this is worded wrong. I think it's a nerf. So the attack speed was reduced to 0.75 from 0.5. I'm pretty sure that's what that means. Face your fears, the temp health gain was decreased to 1 from 2. It seems like overall this update there was a pretty big nerf to melee. On the bright side, heavy attack no longer charges you forward, which was probably the biggest downside of heavy attack. It was kind of annoying. Heavy Hitter received an interesting change. Instead of plus 20 stumble per weak spot hit, it now will stumble on the first hit of any enemy. That seems really good. Highwayman and Mugger both had their spawn chance increase from 3% to 5%, which is awesome. Hired Gun received a nerf. It no longer affects teammates. It is all up to you to get the kills to earn as much copper as you can, meaning it's going to be a lot harder. Mean Drunk now only does 40% damage instead of 60, but it doesn't disable sprint anymore, so that is pretty cool. Medical Professional, you can now heal trauma without having to shoot your teammate once in the foot. This is overall a good change, but it is kind of upsetting that I don't have an excuse to shoot my teammates anymore. Meth Head has received a nerf. Instead of having flat bonuses, 
you will now need to swing your weapon in order to get 5% melee speed and 5% melee stamina efficiency. These will stack up to 10 times, but they only last for 4 seconds. Power Strike, they added Stumble when you hit Armor. Pure Chaos, they actually decreased it, so it does what the card says. Uh, this should make Pure Chaos a little less annoying when it pops up, but as long as your team is taking Amped Up, you can counter Pure Chaos pretty easily. Browsing Speech has completely been changed. They realized this card was terrible, so it no longer disables your offensive accessory. Instead, instead it is a team effect that makes it so everyone on the team will receive 10 extra health when revived, plus 50% team revive speed and 10% team reduce in cap trauma. Rousing Speech is actually a decent card now. Spiky Bit is now plus 20 flat damage instead of 20%. Sunder received a cool change. First off, when you hit a Ridden, it will cause it to take 3% more damage up to 15% stacking. But the more interesting part of Sunder is that when you destroy armor on Ridden with your melee weapon, it has a chance of spawning in armor. This means that you no longer need Charisse on your team to spawn in armor. This is a good change. The team health upgrade was nerfed to only give the team 7 health instead of 10. Trigger control was completely changed, so it is actually a useful card now. Every precision kill will give you 0.5% accuracy, and it will stack until the end of the level. Before, it was plus 20% accuracy for 5 seconds, which was pretty useless. Vanguard received a cool change. It now heals 1 health instead of 1 temp health, but the healing will scale with healing efficiency. Melee dock, anyone? The chance for a hive to spawn in has been reduced, so that really sucks. Now let's get into the changes to guns. Overall, the 870 shotgun has received a buff, meaning it will do more damage at distance, and the base damage has increased to 11 per pellet from 10. The TAC-14 and the Belgian both received a nerf reducing their stumble by 1% and decreasing their damage at distances. The M1A got a buff. Its base damage is now 45 instead of 38. The Magnum received a bunch of buffs, so if you enjoy using the Magnum, you'll be happy about this. It does more damage at distance. The rate of fire was increased. The hip fire control was decreased. The ADS fire recoil was decreased, and the base movement speed was increased. The M1911 also got a buff, which increased its damage, its rate of fire, and its spread. Overall, the fire axe was nerfed. The damage was decreased. The stumble was decreased and the cost of stamina was increased. The machete, however, had its damage increased and its stamina cost decreased. The tenderizer also received a buff if you ever get lucky enough to find it. The bat received a buff to its damage and its stumble ratio. The hatchet was changed a little bit, so when you use it, you do need to aim for weak spots because the stamina cost was increased, the stumble ratio was decreased, leaving it with a weak spot multiplier that was increased, so it seems like they're really wanting you to aim for the weak spots with a hatchet. Something huge they've added is rare tier named weapons. Kind of like legendary weapons, how they have the damnation and the witness, there will also be unique rare tier weapons. Something great for people who play this game solo. They've improved the bots in a few different categories. They're claiming to have some AI improvements for the bots. The bots loadouts will be improved. They've changed the bots decks. Here is a picture of the bots deck. They made it so the bots will heal people if they are below 85% health. I'm pretty sure what I'm pretty sure that's what that means. And lastly, most importantly, the bots will give all the copper they have to player cleaners. Oh my god. This is what we've been waiting for. Now I don't have to jump off a ledge just to steal the bot's money. This is a big day. Now, don't go away yet because within bug fixes, there are actually some very important changes. Before we get to that, I'll quickly go over swarm updates. The stingers and stalkers both got a nerf to their defense when they're jumping. The wretch received a nerf on its cooldowns and the reekers healing reduction was decreased to 50% from 75 all right, now into bug fixes. I'm just going to go over the ones that I think are important. So apparently they have fixed it so when you open a warp chest, the items won't stack anymore because it was very annoying trying to take the correct item when they are all on top of each other. They've also fixed the problem in hives where you would pick up something and it would double pick it up so that you would pick up the item you just dropped. It was very annoying and apparently it's fixed. For the cleaners, Specials that are pinged by Walker will once again inflict trauma damage. 
So hopefully you got your walkers wa already while well, walker was completely busted. They fixed mom now so your health doesn't decay faster when you've been downed. Good. That was terrible. They also fixed an issue that caused Hoffman's ability to spawn too many items. No such thing. So really this is a nerf to Hoffman. This one is really sad. And lastly they made it so Hang's ability does not activate from damage over time. The trick where you would use down in front and bodyguard to make it so you didn't take any damage has been removed as well. So if you were using that strategy, I'm sorry, it's gone now. On the bright side, shotgun ammo will now spawn in when using Mugger, Highwayman, and Hoffman. Which means if you have two shotguns on the team, you won't be fighting for ammo as much anymore. Cost of Avarice has been nerfed. It doesn't spawn in as much copper as it did before, so you're not going to get as rich anymore. This sucks. Cross Trainers is no longer broken anymore. It actually does what it says on the card now. Face your fears, the temp health is now going to be affected by healing efficiency. With Fit as a Fiddle, your critical health level was increased. I guess that was actually a bug and it's fixed now, which is really good because when you're at critical health, you move slower. Also, big news, you might want to change your deck for this one because safe room recovery stacks now. I'm definitely putting this in my deck. Pipe bombs are more effective now. If you ever threw a pipe bomb and noticed that a lot of Rin weren't running towards it, it was a bug and it's fixed. And that will do it for this video. There are a few more things left on the patch notes that I didn't read out. So I will leave a link in the description if you want to go check it out for yourself. But yeah, this update is completely free. It is out right now. And overall, I think it just makes the game even better. We stream on YouTube Monday to Friday, sometimes on the weekends. And later today, I will be playing Back for Blood. So I hope to see you there. Subscribe to stay up to date on Back for Blood. And have a good one, everybody.